Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be you guys watching me meal prep and hopefully you get some awesome tips and tricks and you can see like this is actually my meal prepping day. So I'm going to be making a couple lunches for my husband to take to work plus a couple dinners because sometimes he works like, you know, just not a normal nine to five shift. He works like throughout the night as well. And so I'm doing a bunch of like kind of travel friendly or like microwave friendly meals. And I kind of like to prep everything on one day, at least to get me a couple days. That way I'm not constantly making dirty dishes and having to spend hours in the kitchen. I'm sorry if you hear my dishwasher right now, it's because I just did one of my tips that I'm going to tell you guys about, but I'm running some dishes before I get started with my own meal prepping. Now, I don't have any like rhyme or reason as to like the best type of meal prepping meals or anything like that. I don't even time myself. So we're gonna start like it's 11.51. So we're gonna start at like 12 o'clock and we're just gonna see how long it takes for me to make the couple meals that I'm going to be making. I'll show you which cookbook I'm getting the recipes out of and just kind of get an overall idea of how I meal prep. And I do love to cook, but that doesn't mean that I want to cook a fresh breakfast, lunch, and dinner every single day because I also wanna spend time doing other things that I love to do. And so usually I will make a fresh meal when I know my husband is coming home from work like this evening. He will be home around like six o'clock, which is like the perfect time to make a meal that tastes much better having it fresh than heated up. For instance, there's a couple of vegetables that we don't like heated up. So if we make Brussels sprouts for dinner, we're going to eat them fresh and we're going to try and eat the whole batch because both of us do not like Brussels sprouts once they're like microwaved the next day. So when you're choosing your meals, when you're meal prepping, you just kind of have to think like, do you love when you have to heat up asparagus or do you love leftover I don't know, maybe it's keto lasagna or something like that. And so that's just kind of how I think about when I'm meal planning. Now, really quick before we get started, I am going to say that I am hosting a giveaway at the end of this video, and it's to give away a whole box of this performance nut butter. And this is not just gonna be a one-time video, although there won't be a giveaway in every single video. I just thought it was appropriate to give away this in this video, but there will be a meal prep video every single week because if I'm already meal prepping, why? don't I film it and you guys can watch it, right? So I'm definitely going to be meal prepping every week, even into when I go back to work, because I thought that's like the best thing to do is, you know, you get to see what I'm taking to work and what my husband's taking to work and just how I made it and where the leftovers came from, right? So this performance nut butter is made with macadamia nuts, coconut, and cashews, and literally that's all the ingredients plus some Himalayan sea salt. I don't know if you can see those ingredients. And so it comes in a box like this and there's 10 packets in here. And I actually love giving this stuff to my husband. Like I love saving packets. Like we don't eat packets like when we're just around the house, I'll buy like a jar of something, but for going places and especially packing lunches for work and stuff we love taking packets whether it be coconut oil to put all over my food nut butter to be used as a dessert or anything like that these are like a lifesaver but this stuff is so good you could even put it like with your cucumbers if you like that type of thing since it's not sweetened or I love eating my nut butter like with dark chocolate. So I'll take like a piece of dark chocolate and a packet of this and that's my dessert when I'm at work. The lucky winner is going to receive one box of this which has 10 packets in it. And if you wanna be entered into this giveaway, then you have to stay tuned to the end in order to figure out what you have to do in order to get an entry. So let's go ahead instead and talk about where I'm going to get the recipes from. So I just got this new Dairy Free Keto cookbook. You've probably seen me talk about it in a couple other ways. What I eat Wednesday videos and so I have been loving this it's been the only thing I've been like cooking out of the last couple weeks so the recipes that I am getting out of it are from this cookbook I will leave a link down below if you want to pick this up as well even though I do still eat dairy on my keto diet sometimes I just feel like every single recipe you find from keto just has lots of dairy in it so I love using this as like the base of my recipes and then for instance if we want to like add cheese to something or have a piece of cheese or put cream in our coffee like it's not like every single thing that we're eating has you know just loads of dairy in it so I love this because it's like meat and vegetable based all of the recipes have been so delicious. The pictures are beautiful and they've been really easy to make. So that's where I'm getting most of the recipes from today. There is one recipe that I'm going to make that is not from the Dairy Free Cookbook and I'm going to get it out of this Keto Diet Cookbook. I'm going to be making her crusty sandwich bread. I've actually never made it before, but 
hey, we're gonna try it out and we're gonna just see what happens because why not? But we're gonna experiment together today. I do wanna use this bread to slice up and use for a different just breakfast that's not even gonna be in this meal plan. But I've been making some really yummy eggs benedict and so I wanted to try out this crusty bread sandwich compared to my 90 second keto bread and just see if it makes a difference. And then once I have that perfected, I'll be able to show you guys exactly how I've been making the keto eggs benedict. It's so good and we stay full for so long, but that is gonna be in a whole different recipe video because it's definitely not the thing to meal plan. Like you cannot poach eggs and meal plan with them later. So yeah. So let's get started in some of the tips just before I start cooking because I have two minutes on the clock before it's 12 o'clock. So some of the tips is number one, do not meal prep when you're hungry. I literally just ate lunch because I just cannot think about what I'm trying to make. And then you just like snack the whole entire time that you're making stuff or you're hangry and you get irritated that you have to cook because you're hungry. So just try and eat before you start meal prepping. A lot of the times I just do leftovers because I don't wanna have to cook myself a meal before I meal prep all afternoon. So it's just really great to like, to just heat up some leftovers, quick eat yourself, and then you can get started with your meal prepping. Another thing is to have your meals planned out. I actually use my bullet journal for that and I will just write down what meals I wanna do and I write a grocery list, which I had on sticky notes, but since I went grocery shopping, I didn't need the sticky notes anymore. I usually go grocery shopping on a different day than meal prepping, just because it takes me a couple hours to grocery shop and I just find that that all in one day is kind of just a huge, not waste of day, but it just takes a really long time. If you get your groceries delivered, that might even be a better option for you if you find that you're spending so much time like running and getting groceries and you have to meal prep and you're working and you have kids. So definitely think about that to see if that fits into your budget. Once I have my meals written down, I just kind of figure out like if there's a couple salads, a couple soups or a couple dinners, what I'm going to make first. And since I'm meal prepping just for like a couple days and then I'll probably do another meal prep day halfway during the week since I'm not working yet, I'm not gonna get too far ahead of myself, but I picked one soup to make because soup is great to meal prep. It lasts for a really long time. You can make a huge pot without having to like, you know, spend hours in the kitchen. And then I have a couple salads because my husband loves different salads throughout the week and those are really easy to put together. And then some easy meals for dinner that are great heated up are something like pork chops with sides of veggies, beef ragu or some type of chili or you know just like a slow cooker or just a one pot dish and then we're also going to make mini meatloafs i'm pretty sure and maybe some brats and cabbage it depends on how much time i am willing to spend on this and how far in advance i want to cook but those are just some of the meals i have written down that i'm going to be doing for this video another tip is to make sure that your kitchen's clean before you meal prep like i just put a bunch of dirty dishes in the dishwasher Actually, I wish that I would have run the dishwasher earlier this morning and been able to put those dishes away because I love being able to have an empty dishwasher, an empty sink and clean counters before I start meal prepping because I do like to clean while I'm cooking, but sometimes you just have to throw all the dishes into the sink and worry about it after you're done. And then you can just load them all up in the dishwasher, press go and you know, all you have to do is unload it later. So that's a really good tip is just have your kitchen clean and your dishes already put away and clean. And that way you have like all of my Pyrex dishes would be clean and I could put the leftovers in those dishes if that's what I'm planning to do. And so that's just kind of like what works for me. Also, when you're meal prepping, don't forget to turn on a bunch of music and just have a good time. Like I love cooking. And so I'm going to like blast music and just cook for a couple hours. So let's go ahead and get started because you're probably tired of me talking. So first off, I'm going to be making some shredded chicken in my Instapot. If you do not have an Instapot, it's such a great investment, especially if you meal prep a lot, because I can make just amazing shredded chicken and just really fast different meats. So it works as a slow cooker or as a pressure cooker. While the chicken is in there for about 30 minutes being shredded, I am making this new crusty bread that I've never tried before. So it's almond butter and psyllium husk and eggs, and this has to bake for about an hour. So since I have my oven on, you want to make sure that you kind of bake everything together because that way you're not spending a whole bunch of hours waiting for one thing to be ready. So I'm going to go ahead and put my pork chops in a pan to be baked. I'm making a balsamic like mustard sauce that's from the Dairy Free Cookbook. And so you just pour that on top and I stuck that in the oven. Now 
Now I'm getting some sausages out and I'm making the meatloaf, which is Italian sausage and some grass-fed ground beef with a couple spices, Worcestershire and some oil. And you just kind of like mix that all together and make little meatloaf patties. And this all got baked on a tray all together. So it's just really easy to just you know, I had my whole oven filled with the bread, the pork chops, the sausage, and the meatloaf, and all of that could all bake together. Now I'm gonna move on to the soup. I'm making the Bloody Mary soup, which is also in the dairy-free cookbook, and it's just celery and some onions. We're gonna be adding some spices, some fresh horseradish, the bone broth concentrate that I really love cooking with, and then we're adding just one can of stewed tomatoes and some tomato sauce, and then this I'm just covering and cooking for about 20 to 30 minutes just to make everything meld together. If you do have the dairy-free cookbook, I have all the recipes I'm making today and the page numbers referenced down below in the description box. So it makes it really easy for you guys if you wanna make the same things. Now we're moving on to the Chicago dog salad. And this is just some mixed greens and some iceberg lettuce. I've realized that this is our favorite mixture. So I just always do this. And then it says to add some coleslaw mix. So I already got the shredded one to make it really easy. Pepperoncinis, some dill sliced pickles. And then we're also adding some fresh red onion because we love red onion and some fresh tomato. And then I have some uncured hot dogs that I got from Aldi and I'm just slicing those up into little coins and putting them in a separate dish so that way they could be heated up or stuck in a frying pan really quickly to just, you know, kind of cook all together. And then you can just throw it on top of your salad. Now, taking a quick little break, make sure that you're always cleaning your dishes and putting them in your empty dishwasher. This was one of my tips and it's just great to clean as you go because that way you don't have to spend 30 minutes cleaning up the kitchen after you're done cooking when my stuff's in the oven and I'm waiting until I'm doing the next thing. It works really well to just quick clean the kitchen. My shredded chicken is done, so I'm putting that in a dish and letting it cool. I'm gonna be using that later for a Caesar salad. My soup is finished cooking, so I'm just purizing it with my immersion blender, which I also will have linked down below because I love mine. Now we're gonna work on the braised cabbage, which is really easy. It's just some red cabbage, some oil, onions, some vinegar, and some spices, caraway seeds and stuff. And this is just gonna cook down with a lid on top of it for a while. I also have some frozen green beans that I'm throwing in the microwave to cook because I just love steamed frozen vegetables. Like it's so easy. We do eat fresh vegetables too. It just really depends, but frozen vegetables are a lifesaver. Now I'm making a couple little snacks. So I have these string cheeses and some salami and I just wrap a piece of salami around the string cheese, put it in some baggies and it's a great snack. This would even be great for lunches for kids. And it works out really well for if my husband is really busy and just doesn't have the time to you know, put his food in the microwave and wait a couple of minutes. If he's like running around work and he just really needs something to grab and go, this works out perfectly for him. I have a couple pieces of salami left and I have this like herb crusted cheese I got from Aldi. It's absolutely delicious. So I'm just making a little like bento box with some salami, some cheese, some fresh strawberries that I'm putting in a baggie so they don't you know, make the cheese all moist and all that. And then some carrots and a little pack of hummus. Now, even though we're keto, my husband does really love hummus and you know, just a little pack like that is not that many carbs and so I throw it in every now and then. Now the green beans came out of the microwave. I'm putting a bunch of butter and the pork chops are finished from the oven. So I'm just plating up all of my leftover dishes, putting the cabbage and the sausage in a couple. 
I'm making the homemade honey mustard dressing that goes along with the salad that I made. And I'm also making some homemade ketchup to go on top of my meatloaf. It's really, really easy sometimes to make your own homemade sauces. You don't have to have a million condiments in your fridge. Plus you get to put the actual healthy ingredients in them and sweeten them the way that you want them to be sweetened. A lot of sugar-free products in the store just really still do not have that great of ingredients. So when I can, I always try and make my own. Okay, if you can see, it is just about two o'clock, which means it took me two hours to meal prep and my kitchen is clean. I have another load. Oops, I had added something in there, but I have another load of the dishwasher going. So everything is nice and clean and look at all that food that I prepped in two hours. So we have two big things of a Chicago dog salad with the, um, it's like a honey mustard dressing. And then in these little things are the hot dogs I cut up because he'll probably wanna like heat that up in the microwave or even cook it on the stove at work. Um, so that's like two days worth of that. I did a little like bento box thing. So we have some like herbed cheese. There's some pieces of salami under there, some strawberries cut up some carrots and hummus, and then I added um, a nut butter so he could always like choose to take this to work when he won't be able to like have time to like mix a salad together or heat up food. This is just like grab and go. I did shred some chicken to have it ready for when those salads are gone. I'm gonna make Caesar salad, which is just really easy because it's like chicken. I have some bacon bits if I need to use them and then like I'll make some Caesar dressing which is just really easy to you just use like mayo and anchovies and stuff and just purize it with an immersion blender and um, some Parmesan cheese. So I just have that shredded just you know it's there when I need it. I did these little salami and cheese wraps so that way this is like three days worth so if he does need like if he gets hungry. Um, but he doesn't have time to like eat something like that. He just grab that really quick. Then I have some green beans with a bunch of butter and pork chops. There's three dishes of those. I have three dishes. Um, this one I'll probably save for myself since it only has one uh, sausage link, but it's um, like braised red cabbage and then sausage. Then I have a whole pot of Bloody Mary soup is what it's called. It's like a tomato soup, but it's like a little spicy and, ha and it actually tastes like a Bloody Mary. I made this crusty bread, which it looks delicious. I haven't tried it yet, but I was gonna slice it really thin if I can, and we could have grilled cheese with the tomato soup. That would be delicious. And then I also wanna use it for some poached eggs, or I could even give a slice to my husband with like some peanut butter and some fresh strawberries or something like that. And then I made some meatloaf, which I did not cook the vegetables yet for this, so those are like all the Pyrex dishes I own. So that's what we'll eat first. And I'll just wrap these up. And then once we get closer to eating these, I have some frozen broccoli that I can cook. Um, and so, yeah, then the rest of my meat, well, actually, I am gonna make something fresh tonight because my husband does come home. But then the next couple days, like I'll be busy going to clogging and my husband is working. So like, we'll just be eating all of this stuff over the next couple days. And so then I put all of the rest of the meat um, in the freezer because what I do is I have this like bowl that I use to defrost meat. So that's the chicken we're gonna eat tonight because I'm making this like avocado salsa chicken, which like, if you know avocado, you can't really like, you know, keep fresh. So that's definitely something we need to eat, you know, when we're first making stuff. But then, oh, I also made a pie earlier. You guys didn't see me do that. <laughs> but then I have the other like meat that I have for this week and frozen vegetables and stuff in here. So that way, once we eat all the leftovers, I can pull this out, put it in my defrost bowl and then meal prep again. And so, yeah, then in here, um, I actually have, this is bark. Um, some like, all you do is mix uh, like coconut oil and some cocoa powder. And then I have some hazelnuts and Lily's chocolate chips. And then I have some of these like peanut butter cups in here. 
I have some cookies in here, and this is all keto stuff. So the, like, these are like his little treats that he can take to work. All we have to do is pull it out of the freezer and pack it in his lunch bag. And this I did make today, which I'll probably have him take some of this to work also. Um, but you guys are gonna see a recipe video for this. Actually, it might already be up, so yeah. That's a chocolate peanut butter cake, or pie. A keto chocolate peanut butter pie, yeah. So, all of this stuff is going to be put into the refrigerator. And that's how I meal prep. So like super easy, it took me two hours to completely clean up, have all the meals ready. All I have to do is put them in the fridge. And so, you know, you only have to do this once or twice a week. Super easy. Cause like if you um, wanted to, you could make like even bigger portions. Um, we don't like to eat the same thing all the time. So I always like change out the recipes and I don't make like a huge batch of something. And we do eat a lot. So we will definitely eat this in probably like three whole days worth and then it'll be gone. <laughs> okay, since you watched the whole video and you saw all the meal prep, now we're gonna talk about the giveaway for this performance nut butter. So in order to enter this giveaway, you have to like this video, you have to be subscribed to my channel, you have to go and like performance nut butter on Instagram, which I will have their link down below so you can go like them, and then you have to leave a comment down below saying what you loved about this meal prep video. If if you do all of those four things, you will be entered to win a box of 10 packs of this performance nut butter. This is a US only giveaway, so I'm sorry that we can't ship to internationals, but I hope that you guys are super excited to win one of these. If you wanna check out the performance nut butter yourself, I will leave the website down below so you can check it out even if you don't win. This giveaway is going to be open until August 15th at midnight Eastern Standard Time. So make sure that you enter and get your entry in. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want me to do more meal prep videos, if you liked this, if you got ideas from it, or if you have something specific you want me to show in my meal prep videos, just let me know in a comment down below because I love hearing from you guys. I will see you all in another video. Bye guys.